Hi, welcome to my channel. This will be a general tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for the month of July. So it is a very general reading. It won't resonate with everyone. But if it resonates with you, please give me a like. And if it doesn't resonate with you, then just watch your, your Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So I need to remind you that the roles can be reversed. Either you or the other person, whoever is relevant in the reading. And then, of course, it's not gender specific either. Okay, let's see what's coming up for Aquarius. For July 2021, we have Ten of Pentacles reversed. I think, if I'm not mistaken, you may have had that card for last month's reading. Nine of Pentacles. Here we're starting with the Nine of Pentacles again. I had that card in almost every reading I did yesterday. All the other signs. I did the Earth and Water signs. And I had to redo Cancer because there was a problem with my thumbnail. So I had to just re-upload it. Which was a little bit silly. But anyway. We have Nine. Another Nine of Wands reversed. Okay, be sure to check out the spiritual meaning of the number 9, Aquarius, because it's relevant to this reading. I don't remember right now off the top of my head, but please Google it. Page of Cups. Nice. Just to let you know, we're pulling 9 cards and then we'll see which card is at the bottom of the deck, because that will be the overall theme for the month. Ace of Swords reversed. We don't have many reversals in this reading so far, only two. The star, that's your card, great. The hermit reversed, it's also quite positive, I, I would say. The devil. Some of you may be dealing with a person who possibly has an addiction. Justice in the upright and at the bottom of the deck, Five of Swords reversed. That card also came up quite a bit yesterday for the other signs. So let's first discuss that Five of Swords in reverse. It normally, if it's in the upright, it speaks about being victorious in a battle. So those people are walking away and crying. And this person actually ended up being victorious. So it is in the reverse. So I don't know if there's some battle going on around you. Where you feel like you're just fighting a losing battle all the time. For some of you it, it is related to a person close to you who has an addiction of some kind. Again if this doesn't resonate with you then perhaps the reading just wasn't meant for you. But this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you feeling like some situation in your life is just going nowhere it's a losing battle and actually with the justice card um, at the end right next to the devil card it's actually telling me that there could be a legal situation here that you just feel like you're not getting out of you're staying stuck in it right let's start with the first card that you have that is the ten of pentacles reversed it's telling me that there's been some discussion around a property or a home or something of value Perhaps something like a legal contract to do with that justice card. Something related to a will, a last will and testament, maybe. Um, that will come up for you in the month of July. Something that needs to be addressed. Maybe living arrangements. Maybe you're having trouble with tenants. Could be. Or someone living in your home. Right, we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is all about being... Proud, being maybe a little bit show offish, boastful, someone showing off their wealth, someone living in luxury, someone being very beautiful. I don't know if this is just you this month, maybe. You're feeling like finances have picked up a little bit because maybe they have been um, looking not too great. But perhaps in July your finances will look a little bit better and you'll get to spoil yourself a little bit more. That's what I'm seeing. Self-love, 
focusing on yourself, spoiling yourself. That's what I'm hearing. Right. Did I say that this came out in the reverse? It is nine of wands. Now, I don't know if I accidentally turned it the right way up. I'll have to rewatch the video to see, but I'll mention both meanings because I feel like it came out in the reverse position. All right, so this is someone waiting for other people to attack them. It's someone expecting an attack or you're expecting bad news of some kind. I feel like for some of you, it's related to this person close to you who's battling with an addiction problem. And I feel like you've kind of given up on the situation. You love this person very much, but you don't know which way to go anymore. And perhaps you're not wanting to get involved legally, but it looks like it may have to go that route for some of you with the justice card. I feel like it's a walking on eggshell situation, a bomb waiting to just explode. If it's not an addiction, it could be a toxic relationship or even an abusive relationship, which is really, really sad. But someone is always on the lookout, always expecting something bad to happen or some battle to happen, some argument. You have the Page of Cups then, which is more like, often it is a childish, young, spontaneous, not really spontaneous, but youthful energy, okay? So it could be that there is an apology coming in for you in the month of July. If you've been expecting an apology from someone, it's coming. But it's nothing new to you with that Ace of Swords in reverse. You've seen this happen many times. It could be the same person that's just apologizing and apologizing over and over again, but they're not changing their behavior. And you want to help them. You want to be there for them with the star. This is you. You want to be in your power and take control of the situation, but it's feeling hopeless right now. You don't know what the outcome will be because you've heard this person apologizing perhaps over and over again, but it's just this toxic cycle with the chains of the devil there. It just happens over and over again. With the hermit in reverse, I feel like if it was in the upright, it speaks about you taking time out from everything, just taking time out from the world, shutting yourself off. But it's in the reverse, so it's kind of telling me that you're starting to slowly... You, I don't know how to explain this. The Hermit is not just about shutting yourself off. It's about going inward and doing inner healing work. But I find you looking a lot at the other person and not really going within. I don't know if this is a warning for you to just try to not always blame the other person, not always look for fault with the other person and go within. And if the situation is so toxic or so bad or so negative, then by all means, just shut yourself off for a short time. I mean, it's easier said than done because we're all basically shut off from the world right now anyway with what's been going on. And even more so the people that are in isolation because of having tested positive. But I'm really hoping that this is a message to you guys that if someone is such a negative influence in your life, just do your own thing. Don't focus so much on the impact on you, rather focus on yourself and try and escape mentally if you can't escape physically. That's what I always say to people. If you find yourself in a really bad situation that you can't change, then just go with the flow. And if you can't change your situation, at least change your mindset, change your outlook and the way you see things and perceive things, your perception. It is so, so important. So whether this applies to a relationship or a work situation or a home situation, I feel like it's all intermingled here. I feel like it could be a romantic connection and you're also living with the person and it's more negative than positive. Again, it may not resonate with everyone, but if it is the case with you, just try and cut that negativity out of your life as much as you can. Even if you can't like divorce the person right now <clears throat> or tell them to just get up and go, at least try and do your own thing and focus on yourself. As cliche as that sounds, 
I said in one of my um, readings yesterday that you, we always say that you need to love yourself first before someone can enter into your life or you can get your perfect partner. So that doesn't mean that if you don't love yourself that you're not worthy of being loved. That's not what it's saying. It's just saying be happy and content with yourself first. Because if you're not happy with yourself, how can you expect someone else to be, right? So that is basically the message I have for you guys. I hope it resonated with some of you. Thanks very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye.